All right, now let's continue further and look at uh, equation of a line segment as opposed to just a full infinite line. So often we need a description, not of an, an entire line, but just a line segment or but, or, or yeah, but of just a line segment. How, for instance, could we describe the line segment A, B in example two? So how can we describe this right here from here to here? as opposed to drawing this entire line like that. So we just want the line from A to B. Like that, so that line segment. All right, so going further. So if we put uh, t equals zero in the parametric equations of example 2a, so those are right here, this par parametric equation. If we put a zero here, uh, we're just gonna get x, uh, we're just gonna get the uh, yeah, x naught and then uh, y naught, z naught. And then the next one we could just put one and then we're gonna get actually uh, interesting results. So let's take a look right here. So if we put it in, we get the point, well, 2, 4, negative 3. That's just a point A. And you could see that. Again, this is just x equals 2. And then let's just put in that line again, plus, uh, so I believe this was 2 plus t. So going back here, uh, this is, yeah, 2 plus t, then 4 minus 5t, and this is negative 3 plus 4t. All right. And then y is equal to 4 minus 5t and z is equal to negative 3 plus 4t like that and then when you plug in 0 well we get uh so let's write this here for completeness at t equals to 0 everything vanishes we're just going to be left with x equals to 2 y is equal to 4 and then z is equal to negative 3 which is again uh this point right here is just our a a is a negative 2 4 3 like that and then uh, if we put t equals 1, we get the point B, because this is just becomes yeah, 1, and that's just going to be the coordinates, that you're subtracting the coordinates of, of actually, no, this is a direction number. So if we, if we remember these uh, equations, yeah, just uh, teleport up here, these equations right here that we got, uh, for example, this was a t, and then a was 1, where 1 was 3 minus 2. So in, in other words, in this first example, we have yeah, this 3 minus 2. This is our x1. You can consider that as x1. So we have, uh, we'll have it right over here. So x, let's write it here. x equals to 2. And then the 2 right here is just our x0. This equals x0 plus, and then the a value, which was going to be x1 minus x0, t. So then if this is equal to, and now we, that we have this written, I'm gonna copy and paste this, and then let's put it down here. Yeah, we get here, and uh, if we look at it, if we plug in uh, t equals to one, uh, we're gonna get uh, x, x at t equals to one is equal to x naught, then it's gonna be plus, x1 minus x0, and then these just cancel. So the left with x1. So in other words, uh, and then do that the same thing for y and z, we get the point b. So in other words, here at uh, t equals to 1 for our, for our scenario, we get t equals to 1, plug in 1 here. So 2 plus 1, 4 minus 5, so write this here. So this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be 3, negative 1, and 1. So you go plug it as in 2 plus uh, 1. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So that's correct. Then the next one is y is equal to, let's box this in. This is the correct answer. And uh, the next one is going to be uh, right here, 4 minus 5 times 1 is 1. Yeah, yeah, 5 times t is, uh, yeah, 5 times t is just 1, it's negative 5, this equals negative 1. And that is correct. Yeah, and lastly, the z is going to be equal to, uh, z equals to negative 3 plus 4t, so negative 3 plus 4, that just equals to 1. So 4 minus 3 is 1. Yeah, so uh, the line segment uh, AB is described by the parametric equation, because again, uh, the, yeah, it ends up at B here. At, uh, at t equals to 1, it ends up at B. At a t equals 0, it ends up at A. So now, in other words, all we need to do is solve it from t equals 0 to t equals uh, 1. So in other words, the equation, I'll write this here, R of t, the line segment, this equals 2, and this is a vector 
equation form. And that is just putting these all together. So this is the parametric equation. So 2 plus t is the uh, x component. And then we have y is equal to 4 minus 5t. And then we have this negative 3 plus 4t. Negative 3 plus 4t. And this is 4. Uh, t is less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to 0. So this is the line segment from A to B. Exit this. All right, so going further, let's generalize this. So in general, we know from the earlier vector equation through the through the tip of the vector r not in the direction of a vector v is r equals two r not uh, plus t times v. That's just the vector equation yeah, of a line. So if the line also passes through the tip of r uh, one vector, then we can take v is equal to r1 minus r not this uh, this vector and so its vector equation is and uh, before i uh, write that i'm going to actually draw it out just to illustrate this graph uh this is going to be our z actually like that so that's our z and make this a bit less steep and then this is going to be our y and this is going to be our x like that so let's say we had a line L like this. Let's make it like that. This is our line L. And it has uh, this from the origin. Let's say we have our R naught vector. So from the, the tip here is on the line. And now, yeah, let's say we had uh, right here is going to be our R. So let's say this is our R. And this is our r uh, vector, this vector equation. And before we uh, draw the t v, let's say we had r1 is somewhere here. So this is another point on the line, this r1. And now I'm going to draw this in red. So let's say we had a vector, this is the vector v. This is going to be v like that. Yeah, this vector goes to like that, and uh, well, well, from this vector, you'll see that uh, r naught is equal to r. Um, yeah, this is going to be r naught plus v. So, in other words, to solve this v, we just move this over to the other side, and we subtract it. We get this equation right there. Yeah, and this is the triangle law, like this: r naught plus v is equal to r one, like that. And again, this just means that v is equal to r1 minus r naught, like that. And uh, here I just change it to black uh, felt like that, just to make it uh, easier to see. So anyway, so that's that part. And this is the our uh, r, r, oops, this is gonna be our r. Our r is this one right here. And then uh, the tv is gonna be just a scalar times this v, and that's gonna be across here. It's going to be like that. Whoops. Uh, that's just going to be. It's going to be actually, I should make this a bit neater. So put the R naught here. This is going to be uh, T V naught. Or actually, not V, uh, v naught. I mean, uh, just V. And uh, I'll erase that again. I'm just going to put this in blue. Or this is not blue. This should be blue here. And let's make this in blue. And that's going to be like this. Yeah, all right, let's draw this again. Yeah, so this is going to be T V vector. And uh, here I just made it black because it's easier to see. All right, so that's what we have. So going back to this, we're going to solve the vector equation. So uh, using what we know, using this V equals to R1 minus R0, just like, the, just like this setup that we did. Yeah, for the line segment right here. Yeah, in which we found a difference between A and B in the components and so on. So uh, let's go back here. So this is going to be now R vectors equal to, well, R naught. So R naught plus triangle law TV right there. TV vector. And this equals to, let's write it all over here. This is going to be R naught plus, and then t, then the vector v is just equal to this part right here. So that equals to, uh, uh, this is going to be 
times r1 minus r naught vector. And now we can just uh, simplify this out. So multiply this uh, t inside and, and separate the like terms. And what we get is, I'll write this like this, this equals to r naught, I mean, uh, I mean r vector, not r naught, e, e, this r naught equals to, this is gonna be, well, we're gonna factor out, well, let's do this all on completeness. Yeah, let's do it all on completeness. I'm gonna erase this, we're gonna write this all later. So this equals to that, this equals to here, uh, r, no, uh, yeah, r naught plus t r one vector minus t r naught, and now we could uh, separate the light, the factor out the r naughts, the like terms. That's going to be, and then yeah, factor out it's going to be one. Let's put I'll put it over here. And that's going to be one minus t, like that, and then plus t r one vector, like that. And I'm just going to box this in. Like that. And now this setup here, if you look at it, it's the same thing as we had before. So if we put in t equals to zero, this vanishes, this becomes one, so all we're left with is r naught. Likewise, if you put in uh, t equals to one, this van this whole thing vanishes. Uh, yeah, this this whole thing vanishes, oh, and this becomes one, and you're left with r one. In other words, it's exactly what we had earlier, but in that scalar format I wrote here. So x equals to x naught plus uh, x one minus x naught, like that, t. And then when you plug in uh, t equals to one, uh, the x naughts vanish, it's, it's separate. So it's exactly what we just had, but here in writing it in vector form. So the line segment from r naught to r one is given by the parameter zero is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to one. So it's t is from zero to one. Thus we can summarize as follows. And uh, this summary is right here. So the line segment from r naught to r one is given by, it should be bold, uh, given by the vector equation RT, I mean R of T, so R is a function of T, uh, equals to this right here, one, one minus T, R naught, and then plus T, R one like that, where T is less than or equal to one, greater than or equal to zero like that all right and again uh, as i just alluded to notice that if we plug in t equals zero or t equals one we get well r of zero this just equals to uh this is going to be one times by r naught yeah let's put it all together one minus zero r naught plus zero times r one like that this just becomes well this is going to be one that's going to be r not vector like that in other words that's our where is going to that a value or the starting point on the vector on the line so and then r1 so t equals one we get one minus one r naught plus one times by r1 let's leave that one out and this is going to be r1 this just equals to this vanishes and we're left with r one like that box this box this, and this one is the vector to that uh, second point on the line that b the b coordinate i mean the b point with the um yeah so that's the r1 vector to the b the b uh, point on the line 